search boat makes a big splash at a Marinette shipyard. It's the second ship of its kind to launch from Marinette Marine Company this year. The research vessel Sekuliak is headed for Alaska. And Fox 11's Kelly Schluck shows us what's unique about this state-of-the-art ship. It always is incredibly exciting when the ship goes down the ways. She rolls, rolls back and uh, settles nicely in the water. The soggy crowd at Marinette Marine Shipyard cheered on Saturday as the company's latest project, the RV Sekuliak, hit the chilly waters with a splash. We've been working on this for four decades. Researchers with the University of Alaska Fairbanks say they've worked with the National Science Foundation since 1973 to make the Sekuliak happen. Federal stimulus dollars funded the nearly $140 million contract with Marinette Marine that brought this ship to fruition. But to actually see this ship finally in the water is just wonderful. Those who constructed this vessel say it has particular technology specific to the Arctic. It actually can cut through layers of new ice. The name Sekuliak is fitting. It means young ice in a native Alaskan language. It has the ability to go through up to three feet of new ice um, in places we have not been able to go before on longer voyages and to, to really host a, uh, a large quantity of scientists, nearly two dozen scientists on board. The Sekuliak will benefit Arctic science research, but first it helped the workers at Marinette Marine. It was constructed while work had stalled on Navy contracts for combat ships. This program provided jobs and allowed us to sustain this wonderful workforce that we have here. Marinette Marine also launched a fisheries research boat in June. And with multiple contracts now secured for future combat ships, Marinette Marine expects launches like this one twice a year for several years. In Marinette, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. The Sekuliak will spend the next year traveling from the Great Lakes around the continent and then through the Panama Canal. It will dock in Seward, Alaska, and its first research mission will begin in 2014.